Hi guys, this is Jay Lee, hope all is well. Just wanted to weigh in on the latest Department of Defense video of a flying saucer. This all kind of makes me think of how you should release information uh, at a trickle in order for people to be able to absorb and, and change their beliefs. You don't dump a whole bunch of information about a subject all at once. Some people call it uh, death by a thousand cuts. You cannot tell people that Jesus does not exist. You have to offer up a little bit of information over a long period of time. Otherwise, people won't believe you. Well, this is what I think the government is doing with us. I think that the general population has been brainwashed into thinking that these things don't exist. And now they're slowly leaking the fact that they do exist. And of course, by releasing a video like this, this is rock solid information. What else could it be other than a flying saucer? It's traveling at supersonic speed. What else could it be? Do you think that these pilots have ever seen a plane fly in front of them before? They know what a plane is, but they can't explain what this thing is. They've already interviewed one of the pilots. He says it's not from this earth. What else do people need? Like I said, you cannot lambast people with uh, solid information, especially when they're uh, in complete denial about the subject. Here's what's interesting is that uh, it seems like the government is turning from the word unidentified flying object into unexplained aerial phenomenon. When you see something like this and have facts like this, it's no longer unidentified, it's unexplained. The only thing we don't know is where it's going to, where it's coming from, and who made it. When we see something speeding on a desert floor kicking up some dust, we pretty much know that it's some sort of vehicle speeding on the desert floor. We cannot say it's unidentified. We know what it is. And what it is, is a vehicle speeding on a desert floor. What we don't know is what is unexplained. Where is it going to? Where is it coming from? Who made it? My point is, is that it's no longer unidentified. It's identified. It's just unexplained. People have to realize that these things are no longer unidentified. They're unexplained, and that's what the government is leaning more toward. An unexplained aerial phenomenon rather than unidentified, because we know exactly what these things are. Another interesting point is how they release the information. Not only did they release this information, but they let us know that they did it with hidden money. They also found out that it was okay to hide money from the U.S. taxpayers for secret programs and that it's okay not to have oversight. Nobody was overseeing the money that was spent? How much did they spend? Was that $22 million per year or for the entire program? How was that broken down? Did we spend $22 million on this one video? Is there more footage from anywhere else? How much did it cost to download this video from the plane? Was there anything else that we spent the $22 million on? Our government ended up capturing a flying saucer on video from one of our planes. Why did they cease to exist after this footage? When we see something millions of years in our advance, why would they shut this program down? Is it because they didn't want to answer any more questions? What you are watching is as unidentified as a plane flying over your head. When you see a plane up there, we don't know where it's going to, where it's coming from, and what country it's from. Everything is pretty much unexplained, but one thing we know for sure is that it's a plane. The government is letting us know a little bit at a time so we don't freak out. They are moving beyond the unidentified and moving into the unexplained. They're giving us a little bit of information at a time because they want to maintain their credibility. For example, if the government came out tomorrow and said that there was no God and said they had substantial evidence and incredible scholars to prove it, believers in God would completely ignore or deny this information and the government would automatically lose all credibility with that portion of the population. It's actually the government's own fault because of the years of brainwashing by the mainstream media who is the voice of the government. Personally, I'm kind of glad that they're releasing information, but the other part of me is kind of skeptical and trying to figure out why they would end up doing this at this particular time. I mean, what do they have to gain by doing this? 
Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and join us for a UFO sighting event. We always have a lot of fun. Happy New Year, you guys.